Imani Tech cards are a fairly new concept that Rockstar came up with to help players defend against the very powerful weaponized vehicles like the Oppressor Mark II. Now, Imani Tech actually helps to stop lock ons from missile systems and offers extra armor when getting shot at and helps to generally beef up the cars you are driving. Now, the first batch of Imani Tech cards was added back in the highly praised contract dlc and more are currently being released right now but with more and more of these really useful cards being added what ones are actually the best well that's what this video is for as i will be counting down the top five best imani tech vehicles and i'll be making my judgment based on their raw performance so with that all out of the way let's just jump straight into today's video so starting off at the number five spot we have a classic car and that's the bravado greenwood now this car was added back in the criminal enterprises update in summer last year and via the agency workshop it can be equipped with a missile lock on jammer which prevents it from being targeted by homing missiles it can also be upgraded with armor plating which increases explosive resistance the car in terms of handling is pretty poor i won't lie and that's not really surprising considering how large this vehicle actually is although its top speed is not bad coming in at 118 miles per hour or 189.90 kilometers per hour when it's fully upgraded with all the imani tech upgrades on this vehicle it takes 12 homing missiles to blow it up factor in that the missile jammer will cause the player to miss a lot of their missiles as well the chances of you being killed in this vehicle is very low however the windows are very exposed so ordinary bullets could easily kill you but overall the car is very good but how much is this vehicle well the greenwood can be purchased in gt online from southern san andreas super autos for a price of one million four hundred sixty five thousand dollars or you can get it for a trade price of just over one million dollars after completing the intelligence mission for agent ulp which is a really easy trade price to get access to but stick around as there are plenty of other really good Amani Tech cars on this list. Up next, we have an SUV this time in the form of the Enos Jubilee, a car taking huge inspiration from the real life Rolls Royce Cullinan. And it's one I think every player should be picking up for a number of reasons. The first reason is for its off-roading capabilities. With it being an SUV, it can easily handle dirt, mud, sand, and all other forms of rough terrain with relative ease. Also, its speed for such a heavy and large vehicle is pretty fast, with a top speed of 116.75 miles per hour, or 187.89 kilometers per hour. Now it may be slower on paper than the Bravado Greenwood, but in terms of handling, acceleration, and just general overall performance, the Jubilee comes out on top. It has room for three other players, excluding the driver, and once again, like every other car on this list, it has access to Imani Tech upgrades. Just like the Greenwood, it takes 12 homing rockets to completely destroy this thing. So it really is the perfect SUV. But how much is this vehicle? Well, when it first came out as part of the contract update, players could actually claim it for free. But now it costs $1,650,000 or you can get it for a trade price of $1,237,000. $500. Now this trade price is also quite easy to get as you only have to complete 20 security contracts with the agency which shouldn't take you too long. So once again a really high performing car for a reasonable price. Let's move on to a sports car named the 300R. Now it's the only Imani Tech vehicle in the sports car category, making this one very desirable. It is based off the Nissan 400C, and just like the real life version, it has some really good performance. It's cornering, braking, and overall speed is really good, 
with a top speed in the straight line of 120 miles per hour flat or 193.12 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest cars in the sports car category period. Factor in the fact that if many tech upgrades can be added to this vehicle, you really do have to wonder why more people don't pick up this absolute beast of a car. Now it's price actually might be the reason for that as it comes in at just over two million dollars from legendary motorsports and there is no trade price for this vehicle and just like the other two vehicles on this list it takes 12 homing rockets to destroy this thing so if you have the money lying about and want something quick sporty and very robust then this car might be just right for you. The number two spot is reserved for the Deboshi Champion, an armored and weaponized supercar added back in the contract DLC, and it's one of my personal favorites in the entire game. The design of the Deboshi Champion is based on a real life Aston Martin Victor, which is a car Aston Martin only produced one of. In game, the car has some serious speed and performance stats, with good handling, good acceleration and really good braking, making it an overall really enjoyable car to drive around Los Santos. But how much is this vehicle? Well, it's very pricey, coming in at $2,995,000, making it not very budget friendly to say the least. Although, you do get a lot for your money, including a very good top speed, coming in at 124.75 miles per hour or 200.77 kilometers per hour. Luckily, there is a trade price for this vehicle, coming in at $2,246,250, which can be unlocked by completing the Agency Mission Studio Time, which is actually one of the Dr. Dre contract missions, so the chances are you've actually already completed this contract mission, so very easy to get that huge discount there. So if you haven't got a budget and have lots of cash to spare, then picking this absolute beast up might not be a bad idea. I'm going to have a special mention before we move on to the number one spot, and that's the Ocelot Virtue. Now, the reason this incredible all-electric supercar has been left out of the top five is because it actually hasn't even been released yet into GT Online. It is scheduled to come out in the Drug Wars DLC drip feed in the coming weeks, and it looks like the best car we'll be getting with that drip feed content. It's based off Lotus's flagship new 2000 horsepower hypercar named the Lotus Avija. Just like the real life version, it has insane acceleration and some serious straight line speed along with really responsive controls and solid braking. The exact top speed of this car is actually still unknown, but it is fast from just using it for a little while. And the price of this vehicle is rumored to be just shy of $3 million, so I would start saving for this thing right now. And just like every other car on this list, you'll be able to equip a Mani Tech to this vehicle, making it maybe one of the best cars in the entire game in terms of looks and practicality together, so be on the lookout for this one when it does eventually become available. And here we are at the number one spot, and it goes to the Buffalo STX. All around, this is the best Amani Tech vehicle in the game, and I feel it thoroughly deserves the number one spot. It has space for four players, including the driver, and has really good performance all around, especially in the speed and handling departments. It has a top speed of 126.25 miles per hour or 203.18 kilometers per hour, make it the fastest car on this list in the straight line. But how much is this basically perfect vehicle? Well, it's a little pricey, coming in at $2,150,000, or you can get it for a trade price of $1,612,500. And this trade price is very easy to unlock, as all you have to do is buy an agency property, which if you are watching this video about Imani Tech vehicles, then you probably already have this trade price unlocked. So 1.6 million for a car of this caliber 
is really good value in GT Online. But what is your favorite Imani Tech car in the game? Leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. And like always, guys, take care, everyone, and have a nice day.